Good people of YouTube, my name is Spanner, welcome back to another episode of a Necronox. Yeah, nothing in here. Let's continue exploring the rest of the factory. Not sure what that was all about. More doors, more places to go. I'm getting a bit lost here. Illumination of the mind, of the soul, here in this furnace, where my awareness was forged. Inside the furnace, streams of, of mystic waves, buffet, objects with secret, sweet radiation and transforms them, as I have been transformed. If a hero brings me a stone, I will irradiate it. What kind of stone? Okay, on the f not sure if this is relevant, but the factory irradiate stone. It's probably nothing, or maybe it is something. We can never be too too sure about this. here, what about up? I think I heard something. Maybe. Oh, a taco. You're firing me? Who told you that? You did, just now, I heard you. I'm sitting right here, didn't you notice? Not really, I'm sorry, can we start again? No, not if you're going to fire me. Oh, alright, I promise I won't fire you this time. I don't believe you. Come on, don't be like that. I swear on your job I'm not going to fire you. Well, okay then. Thanks, Lewis. I appreciate that. You're one of the good ones around here. I don't think I tell you that enough. Now get out before I call security. Can you excuse us, please? I'm trying to fire this colossal brick. You're firing me? I thought I heard something for a brief moment. Hold on. Cut the music. I hear it, but it's very faint. It's probably above. Is it... Is it in this room? Definitely hear it. Oh, there he is! I don't need this. Come on, you red bippy. Get over there. There we go. And I think we got them all. All of them. We just gotta go back to a Necronox to get uh, credit for it. Okay, cool. Let me just finish exploring the factory then. We went down, we went up. Wait, did I finish exploring the factory? We went down here. I went up, up there and unlocked the door. There's that... M there's that mistec. Oh, 
Oh no, we haven't finished. Elevator is out of service. Please take the ramp down. What ramp? No, I can't do anything here. Oh, this way maybe. Oh yeah, ramp down. Nothing here, just darkness. This feels like a lift of some kind, or some sort of chamber. Oh, it's that lift. Nothing interesting down here. More bugs. Hmm. How do I get the mystic? Well, even if I got on these uh, ele elevator platforms, I don't think I could get... Tractor beam, probably. Okay, there's some mystic factory that I need the tractor beam. And I think that's it. We're done d down here. Let's head back to the um, to the monastery. We've still got a case to solve. Okay, where is the abbot? You're not the uh, sister I need. Ah, here you are. Sister Angela, if the accusation hadn't come from that little hooligan Norman Malloy, I might have taken it seriously. Angela's always been an odd duck. As strange as she is, however, criminal activity doesn't seem in her nature. But you better question her just to be safe. This is to be a thorough investigation, no matter where it leads. Thank goodness, the fluid density analyzer was down to its last drop of solution. Excellent work. I expect you to find the location of the three keys of Cavatum in no time at all. Okay, so we've been... through here. Yeah. We've been to the shrine, been over there, been over here. Wait, isn't this... Oh no, this is an entirely diff different place. What? Let me alone. This might be the... yeah, this is the main entrance. That's the main monastery entrance. That's not a... no, that's not a switch. There's another one right next to it. Alright, only one place to go. And that is here. Mistech will nurture us. Ah, Sister Angela. Strangers in strange coats. Questions on your lips. The gods sent me a vision of who... of you last night. You will ask about the three keys of Cavatum, and you will accuse me of stealing them. Ditch the psychic mumbo-jumbo act, sister. I ain't buying what you're selling. Weep tears of ignorance, fool. My trials were arduous. My tribulations most grueling. The death of my husband and son were worthwhile sacrifices on the road to divine communion. My sanctity is assured. 
Luckily for you, the gods do not disapprove of my cooperation. Where were you in the wee hours last night after compliant prayers? I dreamt of cowslip and bayberry leaves. There was a man in the woods, wooing me against the bark of glowing mystic trees. Then the rain of truth came and washed away the lies of the world. I was the only one left standing. No thief am I. The keys of Cavatum are inconsequential to me. I am an emissary of the gods, a seamstress of light and shadow, painting the truth through my visions. Luckily for... Ah, uh, cute. Do your visions tell you anything about the disappearance of the keys? My mystical graces are elusive. I do not choose them, they are chosen for me. As for the disappearances of our holy relics, I can only mourn for their theft. This handful of grit reminds you of anything? The seeding of the worlds by the sweet chariots of life. From earth wall arises the dirt of life, the grit of living. Well, if you didn't pinch the three keys, who did? Balance is delicate. Power has shifted dramatically not only in the universe but within our own hallowed stones. Brother Lyceria recently vacated the position of abbot. His political enemies are abundant. Revenge often leads men to reckless acts, wouldn't you agree? To test my patience is to risk the wrath of gods. Trouble me no more. So, Brother Lyceria. Mystek will heal us. Great, another door that opens. Too many damn doors in here. This is not only a place for knowledge, study and self-discipline. It is also a sanctuary for those seeking refuge from misfortunes. My own misfortunes were many. They culminated in the loss of my... No, it is too painful to speak. Let us say the vows of celibacy are easy for me. Just to mess with people, I pretend the wine is hot. Sometimes I pretend to break my teeth on the bread. They love me here. Well, I... I doubt it, but if you say so. Our order places much stock in dreams and visions. Pur purportedly, purportedly related to Mystic. But you and I both know Mystic has no scientific effect on dreams. It does not inspire any mystical visions. No, the mystical visions and lucid dreams touted by certain members here are caused instead by a more mundane source. Tetra. It's a rare hallucinogenic dreamstone outlawed on most planets and much sought after by certain circles of people. Be wary of any in the Order who would lay claim to sanctity through such holy visions. Holy visions indeed, there's about as much truth to that claim as there, as there is to the rumor that there aren't any, say, any side effects from heavy tetra use. The only truth is that not, not enough scientific research has been conducted with regard to tetra users. That's one reason I'm here. I'm here to study the side effects on the tetra tetragoners in this monastic environment. But I'm sure you're not interested. Mm, no, not really. This fruit. Physics states it has potential energy. If I were to strike it, its energy would awaken. The potential energy of Mystic has awakened. But what struck it? Everything has potential energy, no? You. Me. It takes only a push to disturb our slumber. Most sleep forever. Want a bite? Ah, so many people! So many doors! Okay, the small ones do not open. This brotherhood is a science, not a religion. We do not revere the enigmas. We want to solve them. We do not seek power. We seek knowledge. 
Mistech will deliver us. Create more doors. Three Sister Calabria. Wait, what? Brother. Guilty. Well, I'm trying to be not guilty here. Okay, this way... Nothing much. Let us be free of the shackles that keep us apart, my sweet birds. Oh. Uh, we were just discussing the scriptures of Simon. Ah, uh, yes, the passage on the sweet baby of Mystic. Yes, and the shackles of reality we must free ourselves from. Hello. Hi. I guess this is the library. Uh, maybe not, it's rather small. As monks of the Order of Mysterium, we have all taken vows of celibacy. Vows most necessary and most cruel. This is the great library of Hephaestus. We have every manuscript, codex and palimpsest pertaining to the scientific and spiritual studies of Mystek. As you can see, it's a rather underwhelming collection of works, but I suspect more scholars will put pen to paper now that Mystek has blossomed into adulthood. Unfortunately, the library is currently infested with bugs that have acquired a taste for our parchments. We've tried everything to rid ourselves of the pests, but all attempts have proven fruitless. Anyway, is there something I can help you with? No, not really. I guess I can't access the library yet. I believe you have a business with the Abbot Detective. The Nine Enigma Chamber should be the least of your concerns right now. Guilty. Just to mess with people, I pretend... Oh, this is a sad guy. Dear me, you're not a monk. Follow me into this alcove. I wouldn't dare speak of this to my brothers. They would throw me out of the order, but... I believe... No, you'll think I'm crazy. Never mind. Okay, okay. I believe... You're sure I can trust you? Never mind, I'll just say it. I believe... That Simon of Brabula and the Grand Mysterium are one and the same. I know, I know. How can such an impossibility exist? Well, I've got a reporter friend who tells me Simon is not a Brabulan name. In fact, shh, someone's coming. Get away from me, people will talk. Okay, no other doors open up there. Simon of Brebula wrote, Mistake will bloom in the morning of its birth and flower out in the twilight of its days. All things must pass, nothing is eternal. Okay, so where is the last guy I need? Probably here. It looks like there was also a great awakening of greed. A scramble for power. The great awakening has brought out the worst in people. I had no idea my brothers was, were so easily seduced by power. Wait, what are you doing on the monastery grounds? Are you the guy I need to speak to? No. According to the scriptures of Simon, the awakening of Mystek is to be followed by a great war of the cosmos. The Brotherhood of Mysterium is divided between building an army to prepare for this vague battle and expanding the reach of the Order through its entrepreneurial designs. 
I see both sides of the issue. Mistech has awakened, so where is the war? Who is the enemy? Until the answers are apparent, the best way to serve the order is through financial security. Solvency brings the leverage to deal with anything. Money can buy armies. On the other hand, the mysterious destruction of Sunder should be indication enough that the universe is in danger. Hephaestus is the center of Mistech. Could we be the next target? If the scriptures are right about the Great Awakening, then maybe it's right about the Great War. Okay, so there's no one here. I've spoken with all of these guys here, right? Did I speak with you? Yes. You're the fruit man. I spoke with this guy over here is the courtroom, prayer room, whatever. And I have been up here. Some people believe Simon of Brabula knew some of the answers to the, nine, to the Nine Enigmas, but kept it secret because it is the question, not the answer, that is important. Have you been to the Tower of the Nine Enigmas? No, I have not. I am solving a case right now. I'm, I'm busy. Okay, this is the library. I spoke with these. I didn't speak with you. Unfortunately for the Brotherhood, the Grand Mysterium does not bother with the day-to-day -day running of the monastery. I think if he knew of all the political maneuvering, he would be appalled. Instead, he's off in his own little world, locked away in his chambers all hours of the day, studying the scriptures of Simon. I only saw him once when I had first come to the monastery. He came out to greet the new arrivals and say a few words. He was wearing a hood, so it was hard to see his face. But his present, presence, his being, it was quite magical. That memory of him has kept me here all these years, despite the ugly politics and backstabbing. He is a man to revere. May the Grand Mysterium breathe long. I spoke with you, nothing there. I have just spoken with you. Now, where do I, where do I go? Odds. Oh, who are you? Oh, brother Lyceria, my former master. He rests in his personal quarters, past this door. Make right, follow hall, candle in front of door. Go right. You mentioned the candle. Does one of these doors open? Did I? No, they don't open. I guess I got the directions wrong, maybe? You there, explain yourself again. Pass this door, make right, follow hall, candle in front of door. Maybe it's here? A candle in front of the door. Hmm. Okay, pass the door. Make right. Make right, follow hall. Not sure I got that. Oh, there are doors on this side too. Aha! Candle! You disturb my prayers, for what reason? Does this grit look familiar to you? 
You interrupt my prayers to shake a fist full of dirt in my face? I question the abbot's judgement in allowing an outsider to lead this investigation. Know anything about the robbery of the Three Keys of Cavatum? Am I under suspicion? I would never do anything to hurt the monastery or the brotherhood. I am an austere and devoted follower of our order. We're well connected. Any ideas who might have stolen the keys? I am distrustful of all outsiders, one fellow in particular, a mistech dealer named Thomas Lytton, especially st stokes the fires of my suspicion. The three keys of Cavatum would fetch a healthy sum in the black market for a man with the right connections, which I hear he does. He is currently under house arrest, it should be easy en enough to find and question him. Word around town is he used to be the abbot of this dungeon, what happened? My tenure as abbot was at an end, nothing more. May I return to my prayers now? Where were you after Compline prayers last night? I retired to my chambers immediately after Compline and slept restfully until morning. May I return to my prayers, please? Great, everyone points to another person. Well, I guess we'll have to find this guy. But that'll have to wait until next time for now. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed another episode of Anacronox, and as usual, don't miss the next episode, because I won't. I will see you all next time.